What's up, you guys? Sean Ross Sapp, Fightful. It is June 17, 2022. Feels like we've done a ton of these breaking news shows over the last week. This show brought to you by NordVPN.com slash Fightful. I'll plug that a little bit later on, but uh, I also want to get ahead of this and say FightfulSelect.com. That's where uh, the sourcing of much of this report and a lot of what we're talking about today is coming from I released a, a very lengthy update about the Vince McMahon, Stephanie McMahon situation. This morning, uh, Friday, WDB revealed that Vince McMahon would be stepping down voluntarily from his position as CEO. And Stephanie McMahon, who had just taken a leave of absence from the company, would be returning as interim CEO. Vince McMahon also will appear on tonight's episode of WWE SmackDown. CNBC claims that that is in character. Holy crap, would that be a bad idea? That seems like a very terrible idea just in, in general. All that. Uh, if you're here, you can donate a super chat. You can head over to humperchats.com. You can leave your question or statement. I will re read it on the air. Uh, right after this, over on Fightful Overbooked, coexisting with Rob and Maggie will be live. They'll be talking more about all of this. But, oh, man, <clears throat> this is a pretty significant situation. Uh, as I had reported the other night on FightfulSelect.com, after this bombshell Wall Street Journal report, people that I immediately talked to said that they felt like this was the biggest threat of Vince McMahon's power since the steroid trial in the mid-90s. That being said, despite the fact that he's stepping down as CEO, he is not stepping down from his creative role. So if you expect immediate changes on WWE TV, that is not going to happen. And most of the talent that I spoke to feel like this is superficial. I go into much more detail on FightfulSelect.com, but Stephanie McMahon is effectively replacing Vince McMahon in a role. But there was uh, an interesting talking point that was brought up to me. Vince is still going to do what he wants to do on TV. And uh, he's when, when Stephanie is there, what's she going to do? Say no. If he wants a certain business thing run, uh, Vince had passed off the reins of a lot of the business stuff already to guys like Nick Khan. So we're going to talk plenty about that. I want to set up a ground rule right out of the gate. If you say the name of the employee that had the NDA or if you speculate about that name, you will be banned from our chat outright. I do not care. I don't understand. You can cry about it. You can whine about it. You can make a little burner and bitch about it on Twitter all you want. You will be banned. Don't do that. Be an adult. Have some decorum. So let's get into this. Um, Matt says the last 48 hours have been insane. And remember when MJF was the talk of wrestling, LMAO. I mean, just since then. Cody Rhodes injury, the CM Punk injury, Danielson, Orton, Cole injuries, the, the Jeff Hardy DUI, the, the title situation in AEW, Sasha Banks rumors. My God, man. Uh, listen, Zach, I appreciate the, uh, the super chat, but I don't have any news on Forbidden Door. And also, uh, we're not talking about that. We can talk about that tonight on the AEW post show. So I'll make sure that that gets answered then. But... Uh, we're going to be talking about this particular situation, Vince McMahon, Stephanie McMahon. Uh, one of the, the main things that I took from speaking to over a dozen people in the company, I'm talking staff, former staff, current talent, former talent, uh, is that Stephanie McMahon is beloved in this company. There were a lot of people that were very excited about the idea of Stephanie McMahon coming in. I spoke to some people that worked right underneath her uh, on the now disassembled team that said that she was wonderful to deal with. I talked to another employee today or former employee who said that when they were transferred to work directly underneath her, they were excited that she was a people person, that she was very easy to deal with. Now, that being said, there's going to be a whole lot of people that kind of lack that media literacy and they are going to assume that Stephanie McMahon is responsible for all the booking decisions. And that's just not the case. Uh, that's just not uh, the way that that things are going to work. Vince is still going to be booking the show. It's still going to be what he wants to see, what he wants to do, and all that. Uh, I was able to talk to talent about what they were told. They were briefed 
on the fact that a story had emerged on Wednesday, and that's it. They weren't coached by PR or anything like that. They were just told that it was being investigated. Uh, nobody that I talked to had been told outright, don't reference this, don't talk to this, it's, or talk about this, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, there was also a follow-up message that I had reported about on Fightful Select that said, in the meantime, it's business as usual. Vince will be at TV this Friday. Thank you. Yikes. Yikes. And I mean, this has gotten major, major interest. I've been reached out to by Newsy and the Toronto Star about this. It's just, there's, there's an awful lot going on. There's a lot of general interest here. And I think there is a misconception among people that are outside of WWE that maybe Vince is the magic. But I think there's a misconception within the wrestling bubble of that misconception. I don't think that there are this gigantic number of people throughout mainstream news, media, all that, that fully credit Vince McMahon with the current success of WDB, perhaps the, the, the past couple of decades. But I mean, most of those people are doing uh, their homework and they're realizing, oh, well, it's it's even been WDB canon that Vince McMahon has sort of prevented a creative renaissance uh, from from the ability to speak about this or from the ability to to not pass off his, his creative control. Riley says, maybe this is an obvious answer to the question, but to the people you've spoken to, do they fear as to what Vincent Mann might say tonight? Yeah, absolutely. There are uh, numerous people that I spoke to that said that they're going to try to communicate it to both higher ups as well as to Vince himself. They get the opportunity that whatever his plan is probably isn't a good one. And that's because most of the people that I talk to believe that Vince can't possibly have a good plan as it pertains to this. Um, yeah, and there, there. Sometimes Vince needs to be protected from himself or filtered from himself. Which more more details will sort of emerge from that. I've I've had a lot of people that said that they have to kind of like where Vince used to be the the filter for Vince Russo. I've heard there are some people that kind of have to filter some things for Vince McMahon himself. Anakin said, "Do you know if anyone told Vince he should step down from creative duties as well?" There have been a lot of people that say that, that have like kind of hinted to Vince over the years that he should probably step down from uh, the, the creative end of things. Matt notes the old saying, anything can happen in the World Wrestling Federation. Boy, ain't that the truth. And Hamp says, didn't Vince step down during the steroid thing? I mean, he had to handle a federal case. There was a contingency plan in place, allegedly Jerry Jarrett, uh, to to oversee control in that aspect if, if Vince went away, but he didn't have to. I am Malucha says, I don't care that it's an appearance within character. Vince being on TV is absolutely classless. Someone needs to stop this. There are people that, that are in that company that absolutely think that it's a, a terrible idea, a terrible idea. Hannah says, I think he's going to go out and pull a Bill Clinton and it's going to be awful. I mean, not not to be political in this sense, but I don't even think this is this is subjective at this point. But a lot of the fear and uh, the con the comparison that I got between some of the wrestlers was they were fear they were fearing it would be like Trump esque, as in this didn't happen. I'll beat this. We'll beat this, etc. Uh, like a stop the steal type of thing. Hoping that's not the case, but that was the fear among some of the talent that I spoke to. Taylor says, do you think Vince will eventually step away from his creative duties as well? There was one person that used to work for Vince that said to me this afternoon that they fear what a Vince with downtime would do, like how he would manage, how he would, how he would just react to a lot of that stuff. Because uh, creative is what consumes him. And that's why I don't look at the CEO or the chairman thing. Like I, I don't... I don't even look at that like as something like I don't give a damn. Nick Khan's running so much of the business. There are so many other people that, in high levels that are running aspects of this business that have categorically changed things. If there's a creative change, that's when I'll take notice. When Vince hands over the reins of creative, then then I'll I'll believe that something wild is happening. Mark, thank you for the super chat. I will try to uh, look at this and and see if. You have a chat associated with it. I'm kind of running that the super chat in by myself, but you all can also go to humperchats 
Facebook.com and leave questions or statements um, right now or before we go on the air. Obviously, tonight's post-Smackdown and post-Rampage show is going to be something to behold. J.M. Clucky says, Sean, when the Wall Street Journal broke the news about Vince, I called my friend and said, well, it finally happened. Vince is being named for a scandal, sex scandal. That's the sad part. This sucks, but it's something any wrestling fan in their head has known for years. I don't want to be accusatory in that sense, but I mean, this isn't the first time that Vince has been named in a scandal like this. There have been multiple accusations in that sense, uh, dating back to the 80s with or Rita Chatterson. Matt says, the irony in Stephanie being interim CEO after they buried her. So I, I want to speak to the rumors that WWE buried Stephanie McMahon. I talked to WWE reps a couple of weeks ago that, that insisted to me that Vince didn't push her out. And the only time that I've heard of anybody in WWE burying her was an off the record thing to another media member from somebody in the company. And somehow that kind of emerged and made its way out there because people that work directly with that person, uh, or I don't want to say they didn't undermine that point, but they certainly contended that point. Richard says, it's insane the parallels that can be drawn between this and succession. It's funny you say that, Richard. I've seen those comparisons. A top WWE talent did do that, that I spoke to for the Fightful Select story. I didn't write this in the story because I don't know what the hell succession is, but they drew that comparison as well. But Richard says, it's a smart move for Vince to step back his role. Don't agree with him coming out on SmackDown to pop a rating, though. Keep up the great work, Sean. Uh, yeah, another one of the talents I talked to felt like it was a tasteless ratings grab. And they weren't sure how Fox would see that. Now, they weren't sure exactly how that would play. Any chance Fox steps in before SmackDown tonight? There's, there's, and, and Anakin says, could Fox veto Vince appearing? I don't know that there's this incredible sense of, of moral obligation from that company. You know what I mean? I think we're, we're more likely to see something reactive as opposed to, to proactive. Mark says, what are the chances that he doubles down and does his stand-up for WWE stick from the mid-2000s? So again, I'm going to keep plugging that Fightful Select story. One of the things that somebody told me was that they feared that there might be a talking point, like when Stephanie did the post-9-11 speech, and she said, years ago, a lot of bad people came for my dad, like one of those Vince versus the world things. Any speculation as to why Vince is taking over, and, or Stephanie is taking over and not Nick Khan? He was always the rumored one to take over when Vince retired. Um, one of the employees of Stephanie McMahon that I spoke to said that the, the sort of vibe that she put off is that she always felt like she was going to be in this role eventually, even when Nick Khan came along. And that person also told me that they always got along seemingly pretty well there. But Nick Khan's not been around that long. Uh, Stephanie is far more familiar with the business, despite the fact that Nick Khan has made some, some very good decisions. People who asked for their release asking again, I would if I were them. KE775 says, do you think if the investigation paints Vince very badly, NBCU and Fox will pressure WWE to remove him from the company? Well, they can pressure him all they want, but I mean, he's got voting power. Um, they can sort of force him out of creative in, in some sense, but it's not that easy to just pack him up. Reminder, guys, this show is brought to you by NordVPN.com slash Fightful. I want to give them a shout out. They are how we are able to bring you this show for free. NordVPN.com slash Fightful. Get a great deal, an additional month free, and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Uh, but now they got three incredible tiers that I'll tell you about in a moment. But it works on all your devices, your phone, your laptop, your desktop, uh, your, your PC, your router even. That that really helped me out the other day. Uh, my PlayStation was getting really slow speeds because I have a dynamic IP and it didn't like the IP that I had at, at this time. And I didn't want to wait for that IP's lease to run out. So what I did, I added NordVPN to my router. It gave me a new IP. It lay, allowed me to change my virtual location. Those internet speeds were a lot better. I was able to download some stuff on that PlayStation, new PlayStation Plus a lot quicker than I would have otherwise. Uh, NordVPN.com slash Fightful. It's got a, a fantastic uh, malware blocker, and it, it blocks annoying pop-up ads and online trackers. And these bundles, they've got the uh, basic bundle, the standard bundle with a VPN only. They've got Plus with VPN, Plus the Pass, and Complete 
with VPN plus pass plus locker. Plus that bonus one month on top remains on all plans and products. A big thank you to NordVPN.com slash Fightful for allowing me to bring you guys this show free. Otherwise, this is behind the paywall, my friends. Big thank you. Love those guys. Levi says, possible Vince booked his bit with Pat at Mania knowing that it could be his last Mania hurrah given the first email was three days before Mania Saturday. Uh, they, be- I think they began investigating this a little bit after that. And uh, no, this was in the plans for weeks and weeks before. That was not what happened. Thomas says, Vince appearing on tonight's SmackDown is aberrant. Your thoughts, Sean? Uh, I think it's ill-advised. I don't think it's a good idea. Um, if I were doing it, and let me tell you, I said some pretty stupid shit on the internet in my day. Uh, I would look at this and say, this isn't a good idea. Salt says, stepping down but retaining both financial and creative power and then going in front of a crowd to plead his case negates any narrative that Vince is stepping away. Don't understand his thinking. I don't understand his thinking in general. I don't understand his thinking that a 77-year-old man should be uh, writing creative for 25 to 45-year-old performers. It ain't practical. I don't know what he's going to say, though. Alan says, unfortunately, Vince may think this is the best thing for TV right now uh, to boost ratings. Given the buzz he's created, he may be right. This is a train wreck waiting to happen. I I can tell you I've had almost zero Jeff Hardy inquiries in the past three days. It's all Sasha and Vince. Stephanie X Becca, I want to thank you for this chat. If you have a a comment, I will. uh, Now that would be worth it. Uh, Regardless, hey, thank you for uh, your super chat. I greatly appreciate that. You guys can get in yours here or at humperchats.com. Cher says Fox News has people on their station who have been in the same situation. They just keep them on air. Tyrus is a regular on there, and that man's got allegations within the company. So what do we got here? Mark O'Brien says this is a long-term play from Paul Heyman turning Vince's children against him from the Alliance years. Clever, but no. Uh, I would get him involved with creative and move Vince out, though. CNN will be covering this. Thoughts? They should be covering this. This is a major story. I saw you all mention that, that Dave Meltzer is supposed to be on there as well, but but um, I, I just got on here, so I haven't seen that. But uh, Dave will be a very good one for CNN to talk to, that's for sure. Bucephalus says, I'm so happy I dumped my WWE stock years ago. Hashtag FTF. Well, thank you very much for the chat. James says, so like Stephanie is now technically Vince's boss. She theoretically f- could veto move around creative plans, right? I don't think so. I just don't think so. I mean, that's just not her role. That's not the spot that she's going to be in. And that's not what's what's going to go down. It's just not it. Joel Woods says, do you think Stephanie stepping in and Vince stepping down for now does anything for the Sasha situation? Or do you think it's too late and the train has already left the station? So I don't know Stephanie and Sasha's relationship, but I can tell you that based on the numerous talent that I've spoken to today, and I had admittedly, I had really understated this and maybe not understood it before just how beloved Stephanie McMahon is among talent. Like, I know a lot of us look at Stephanie McMahon and we see the on-screen character, right? But there are a lot of people, a lot of people that might shock you that flat out adore her. And I'm not talking like, oh, it's surprising that they like her. I'm talking like they flat out adore her. Let me see the the direct quote from a top, a top wrestler here. Because that one's the one that stood out to me. Damn, I got to go back and find it. Hot diggity dog. But I mean, I mean, one person said, I, theoretically, Stephanie is my boss and that fucking rules. Uh, but OK, this person said she's incredible and inspiration of a woman. And these are people that if, if like if you knew who they were, you'd be like, damn, that, that carries some clout there. Stephanie X. Becca says this is the main topic for the moment. I'm sure that eventually we'll get around to it. Yeah, Indeed. Indeed. Chad says, any update on the marriage status of Vince and Linda? Listen, all due respect. Thank you for the super chat. I don't care what the status is of Vince and Linda. I'm not, I don't care to poke into their, their personal relationship. I, nor do you guys know the personal boundaries, history, or anything of an individual's relationship and what they, 
are cool with or not cool with or what sets them off behind closed doors. And that's not something that I'm interested in reporting on this website, as long as it's legal and consensual. And as far as I know, Linda hasn't been involved in anything like that. So I, I don't ever want to speculate on that. I don't really care. We got Stephanie X, Becca again. Big thank you. You're being so generous to us. And Leo says, first domino that fell was Sasha and Naomi. Ever since then, it's been one bad thing after another with WWE. Any chance Stephanie brings them back? I mean, anything's possible, right? You don't, I mean, Bruno came back because of Triple H. But I mean, that was, again, a categorically different situation. Anything's possible. But I mean, I don't know how, how a Sasha or a Naomi, and this is just me speaking. I don't want to speak for them would look at this and say, yeah, now I'm coming back. If anything, it'd push him away further. Steph X Beck says, do you think it'd be better for Stephanie to appear tonight instead of Vince, not for ratings, but just for business considering what is going on? Yes, I do. I think that would be a, a much better idea. I think that would be a, a way smarter. And you can address things and, and say that on the air, and then you can go to your intro and then the show starts. <clears throat> Hunter says, "Who? What do you or who do you think Vince would trust with creative if he would step away? Heyman and Triple H have to be the best bet, right?" So a lot of people say that, but they completely disassembled Triple H's view of what a wrestling company is less than a year ago, right? I had Killer Cross on this channel saying it's hard to not think that it feels like they're disassembling his view of pro wrestling because that's what they did. It, it, it resembles it in name only. So, uh, I mean, you got Jeff Jarrett there and I made the joke the other day. If the shit hits the fan, you got a Jarrett on the payroll. Um, Jeff Jarrett, I think has had a pretty good creative mind when he's not booking himself. You've got Paul Heyman there. You've got triple H there. You've got Bruce Pritchard there, uh, who is a trusted guy, obviously. Uh, you have a lot of creative people there in the company. Alan says, one voice that stands out with her silence is Linda McMahon. I wonder if she has the chance to finally put her foot down. Don't know. Uh, she is barely connected to this story. You know what I mean? JJ says, how people can't understand what Vince is doing tonight. Uh, pretend Trump was head of WWE. Those two things are much alike and good friends for a reason. There are certainly some parallels there, right, in, in the attitude. But I want I do want to wait and see what actually happens. Thank you for the super chat. Black Scorpion says, as Vince accept Rick's challenge? Very clever. Very clever. Joel Wood says, thank you. Trying to find any positive that might lead to them working things out with Sasha. And a nice reminder, uh, do not post the person's name who uh, was in the NDA. I do not want to send any more uh, hell towards that person than they're already experiencing. And it's it's not pertinent to this story. Uh, the position that she was in and the NDA are, but you, you ain't got to know their name to do that. Yes, I agree. People, please stop uh, being weird in the chat. Denise says, as interim CEO, how much power does Stephanie McMahon realistically have? Do you think she's still taking input from Vince? So that's what was speculated, and I think we'll we'll probably learn a lot more. Definitely by by Monday, like we'll find out like how that adjusts or changes. Um, I can tell you that there are people that are excited about that, and they're they're very happy that a person like Stephanie is is in that role, but. I, I do think that Vince is still going to have input, but I don't think that Vince necessarily was as interested in those roles as he would think. I think there's a real good chance he steps down as either CEO or chairman and Stephanie takes over one of those roles on a permanent basis. And that again, again is my speculation, but I don't, I really don't think it matters that much to him as I think creative matters to him a lot more, which is mind boggling, right? Cause it sucks and it's bad and it's repetitive and it's lazy. But I think the ability to control that and him, he's got more money than, than God right now. Like he doesn't need, well, he's got $3 million less apparently, mm -hmm. but he's got more money than God. Like what, what does he care about retaining those particular positions? 
Oscar says, do you think this is the kind of thing that tarnishes Vince McMahon's legacy? If Vince resigns creative, what wrestlers uh, push could be put on hold? Hmm. I, honestly, I think it would lean way more towards uh, an in-ring promotional st- thing. Like it, it, there would have to be more people that would would have to excel in the ring before they even get brought up. In that sense, I think that that would would change a lot as well. Uh, yes, this tarnishes his legacy for sure to some degree. Rusty says, do you think Vince will try and do the most Vince thing ever and turn this into a wrestling storyline? If he does, all hell will break loose. I mean that like from talent. You're going to have talent asking for their releases. You're going to have mainstream media really pushing down on him hard. And you're going to have a lot of people that are upset in the company. TikTok says, I've not watched WWE in 15 years, but I'm DVRing tonight SmackDown for sure. I mean, that's their hope. It's the only thing that, oh man, that's the only thing that they're banking on by putting him on there. Otherwise, they just issue a statement. Denise says, do you expect Vince to remain in creative for long? I Okay, so a lot of it depends. And big thank you to Denise for popping in. Please check out her channel and show her some love. She's going to be doing a lot of great work for us this weekend. Uh, a triple A, triple mania review tomorrow night, as well as an impact post show Sunday night. But... I think he's going to fight it. I think he'll fight to stay a part of that. Um, And the board can absolutely push him to not be involved with that anymore, which that would be fantastic. That would be great, all things considered. It can't be much worse. So I I don't think that it could could get worse there. But I think he's going to fight for it. And I think that's where it could get ugly. If the board tries to remove him from the creative aspect of things, because I mean, look at this. It would have been real easy for Vince to just step away right now and say, I'm also stepping back from creative for the time being. And honestly, Vince stepping away from creative would have caused even more buzz. Probably in a positive sense. There probably would have been some positive reception to this as a result. So I think he's going to fight for it. If Vince is forced out completely, how do you think Bruce Pritchard will last in his role? I think that Bruce Pritchard, and, and I like Bruce personally. I've always gotten along with him the few times he's spo- spoken. Everybody in that type of role is Vince's next scapegoat. Look look at the history of all the scape. Baron Corbin's on-screen character was his scapegoat at one point. Like, come on. Then, then at one point it was Eric Bischoff. Then it was Paul Heyman. There's always a scapegoat for why the creative on that show sucks, right? But it's never Vince. Never Vince's fault. Chance that Vince actually realizes it's over and says his goodbyes tonight? Little to none. Reckless spec. Where do you see WWE in one year? Uh, probably on the verge of, of a sale, I would imagine. I think this pushes, pushes along a sale. Hurts their negotiating power, though. Mike says, if the investigation turns up something that sticks, could WWE get pressure to reevaluate how they handled other allegations like Theory or Riddle? Possibly, possibly, but um, I think they're happy to to sweep those two under the rug. There's already stuff that sticks on this because the attorneys have admitted the relationship. Bridget says, does this make future talent think about going to work there? I can tell you that one person was like, well, Vince being out of control makes me want to sign there. Suggestive Gaming says, how much do you think they'll try to kayfabe this versus ignoring it? If they kayfabe this whatsoever, this will be hell. This will be hell. Matt Hendricks says, Are there any new SmackDown plans tonight? I got word of some of the SmackDown stuff last night, but um, as always, I'm going to try to get that shortly before the show, and I'll see. But, buddy, do not expect that rundown to be accurate tonight. We're going to have it on FightfulSelect.com. Please subscribe. But I'm expecting it to change significantly. It already has. NBA Mix Doc says, is this finally the end of the regime? Uh, I think as we know it, it likely is. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I am going to turn on slow mode real quick. I just want to say sorry to our mod. Sorry, Share Delaware. But uh, <laughs> that's on slow mode now. Thoughts about what they should do with Theory? That ain't what we're here for. But um, he's gonna he's still going to face John Cena, assuming Cena comes in. 
Tin Ruzo, what happens to Triple H going forward is done, done. Hope request release get granted. Thank you for your work. Uh, if Vince is out to some significant degree, I believe Kevin Dunn won't be far out. And I, I'm not saying he's going to be implicated in this, but I I just don't think that that, that will, will continue. I think he'll probably get packed as well. Evil Live says Vince will simply not simply be pushed out. The man's been the guy for as long as we can all remember. People around him literally have to go, Vince, it's time. There, there have been, or, or a vote of no confidence. That doesn't matter. He's got 80% voting power, my friends. Steph X Beck, I, this wasn't a super chat, but you've been so generous, I want to read this. It says, please don't let Vince be in creative, at least not right now. All hell will break loose in this day and time. WD would never recover, at least not right now. Uh, he shouldn't be in creative. Absolutely shouldn't be in creative. Greg says, did Vince get on TV after this happened? Reckon uh, he did that to get a good luck with fans. He's barely been on TV if all at all since the investigation. Turtle T says, is this the fall end of WWE or there'll be new management? Oh, it is not the fall of WWE. WWE will continue. And it'll probably, honestly, it'll probably thrive. Oh, man, let's see. Let me get over to the, the Humper Chats as well. Humperchats.com and... Uh, a quick plug, FightfulSelect.com, if you all like the kind of information that I am putting forth here. We are breaking news every day, and if we don't break the news, we're going to have a whole lot more details on it after it does break. So, um, holy shit, there's a lot of humper chats. <laughs> Has Nick Khan commented on the situation at all, says Dude Moda. No. The idea, uh, David says, the idea of Vince being on TV tonight just boggles my mind. It seems completely ass backwards to me. Get ready for the piped-in cheers. Again, I, I don't want to speculate that I don't want to speculate that he might not do that or he might do that. By the way, guys, if you're saying that I'm missing your super chat, please put some stars next to it and let me know and I'll uh <laughs> I'll I'll get back to him telling me you missed I missed the super chat might not be uh, as beneficial because there, there's so many of them. So uh, I'll, I'll see your name. I'll know that it's real and I'll get to your super chat. I will have to wrap, wrap this up by 350 or 250 though. So keep that in mind. But I don't want to say, oh, well, he's going to go on TV and do this. Gary Coxhead says, great backdrop you have and great, great job Cher is doing in the chat. She is doing, thank you very much, Cher Delaware. Hamlet says, is Stephanie interim CEO just so she can have to take the heat and negative fallout of the scandal? No, no. Everybody knows that it, it seems pretty evident that Stephanie knew about the investigation and stepped away. Are there any reactions from sponsors? Not yet. Stephanie X. Becca says, with this decision, is this kind of paving the way for Aurora? No, absolutely not. Not yet. Uh, way too young. Joel Wood says, I, for one, hope they don't get sold, not because of anything Vince-related, because ever since Time Warner WCW, I'm hesitant about a company owning a wrestling company that's not wrestling-related. I mean, I can tell you I feel the same way about like stuff in media. Like I wouldn't want to sell Fightful to a media conglomerate because it wouldn't be Fightful anymore. But, um, I mean, the WWE that we see today barely resembles the one that we saw 20 years ago that so many people fell in love with as well. Will Vince be pre-taped or in front of a crowd? I don't know. Is Stephanie is CEO a way to have a controllable public-facing female leader amidst the accusations? Is Vince CEO and everything but name only? It feels that way. I'm not going to say that as a definite, but it certainly feels that way, right? It, it feels like they, they said, well, keep it in the family and a female leading the charge. Motown Rick, do you think the possibility of The Rock at Mania is still there after these allegations? Man's looked at the other way after some other stuff. So, back to the Humper chats. Uh, Dilo Diggs says, Vince, people remember my son or <laughs> stunner cell last time on TV. Hold my beer. This is a bad PR move. Yeah, it is. Gary says, You've got to be so careful when reporting this stuff. You've done an amazing job. Also, Alex did a great job with you on Wednesday with it, too. Uh, indeed. And that's something that. You know, I let my staff know, don't put the woman's name out there. That's immediate termination if that happens. Uh, the, 
we got to handle this carefully. And if they, they need any input on that, we'll, we'll try to help them out as, as best as possible. Michael Higgins says, you think they could do something big tonight, like have Riddle pull off a victory over Reigns or have Reigns turn face, especially with Orton potentially out for 2022. I think that having Riddle win the title probably would not necessarily be the PR they want with them under such a microscope. Games with Casper Fox says, Vince on SmackDown tonight, I'm worried about what he'll say, whether he's in character or not. This could go very wrong. You share that sentiment with so many people. Joseph, thank you for the super chat. We greatly appreciate it. People say, hang up a photo or something. I'm turning this whole loft into a studio eventually. Kate says, Sean, please eat a nice meal at some point. I'm on that Stone Cold Steve Austin before WrestleMania 19 diet that he talks about all the time. Joseph says, this could be a bit overblown as well if their relationship was a consensual and NDA payment did not come from any company revenue. This might not be that big of an issue. Look at their own personal uh, conduct stuff, though. Uh, quid pro uh, pro uh, stuff, I butchered that, uh, is prohibited and is supposed to be disclosed to shareholders. Please leave a thumbs up on this video, guys, by the way. Let me make sure to get through the. I don't want to miss any super chats, but if I do... I, they will be red tonight. That much I assure you. Ten Ruza says, is this going to affect the next TV negotiations? Does this affect the perception of wrestling and affect AEW via association with the industry? Possibly. I don't think it affects AEW. I think that it could affect some television negotiations. It might help AEW because they don't have that necessarily, that, that controversy tied to them right now. So Joel says... I'm in as far as Time Warner buying WCW and then deciding they no longer wanted wrestling. Yeah. Well, I mean, at that time, WCW was a gigantic money loser as well. So, <laughs> Squid Pro, bro. That's pretty much how I said it, wasn't it? By the way, guys, we will be live after Rampage tonight, myself and Kate. Ray says... Does it feel like WWE saw this coming months ago, moved Stephanie out of the firing line so that she could step in just for this? Or she moved herself out of it. I'm still working to find that out. I really am. Thank you, Timbo Slice. Matthew says, zero chance they'll catch me uh, watching SmackDown on TV tonight, but you can bet your ass I'll be illegally streaming it. And Kate says, subscribe to FightfulSelectal.com for updates it's fightful select um we don't just report on this horrible shit either i promise we got good news that's over there as well <sighs> where we got avery says ask my father a psychologist about being on smackdown his response ego i think we're getting towards the end of the super chats oh boy nope we got a bunch of humper chats here uh, I am going to start to wind those down. I want to encourage you guys in 20 minutes over on Fightful Overbooked, uh, Maggie, Rob will be uh, live for Fightful or for Rob and Maggie coexist. Jeez, I am. It just, <laughs> my mind's all over the place right now. If I missed any super chats, please let me know right now in uh, in the chat. Because it's it's been wild. Uh, Joel Wood says, good news on Fightful. That's not what I pay my $5 for. We got a little bit of everything, plus a bunch of shows as well. We do figure and card hauls over there too. Robin Van Dick says, sent this earlier, but the last few weeks have been wild. Thank you for you and your team for the extra time they put in to cover it all. Uh, my friend, if I, if I were doing anything else, I would come home from my job. And I would literally just talk about wrestling with you guys. So I will never complain about my job because I love it. Z Lifestyle says it's been reported that older NDAs were discovered in the investigation, but the discover or discussion of those is vague. Any inclination is the contents. No, I don't have inclination to the contents, but I heard the allegations were that um, there, there was some potentially damaging information. There you go. Uh, Nick56565 Holden says, thanks, Sean, for all your hard work and killing it day in, day out. All your work is much appreciated. 
keeping it real and fun. There's not a lot fun about doing this besides chatting with you guys, but trying to find out all the information that, that we can. Jeremy, not Lambert says one to lighten the mood a little bit by wishing all the fathers here. Happy father's day. Indeed guys have a, have a good father's day this, this weekend. Call me crazy says I have to wonder if Vince by the end of the year will be out. I do hope the creative at least starts to make more sense because of a different CEO being able to say no on things. I also hope we get more uh, female wrestling and better treatment. Now one uh, female wrestler said that they were really hoping they were really hoping that this meant for better treatment for them. Michael Branson says, slow news night. How are you? This, this applies to the last three weeks. This is officially the last three weeks, the craziest period that I've ever covered pro wrestling ever. Fluffy Panda. I'm sorry. I missed yours, but you can, you can just write that. Is SRS's AC not working, buddy? I bought a window unit or, or, or a standalone unit for up here. Cause it gets so hot. It's so damn hot. We got a heat wave going on right now. I'm surprised you all can't hear it. Anything new about Soraya or uh, Mercedes? I reached out to Paige for an interview, but her rep uh, said that she's gotten a lot of requests and, and declined on it. Hopefully that changes, but I haven't heard anything else as of yet. Phantom says, Disney is extremely protective of their family friendly brand. Does Vince staying hurt the chances of a sale to them? I don't think so, because I think they feel like they have the cachet to rehab that. Jack says, with Stephanie coming in as the interim CEO, does Nick Khan hold on to the responsibilities of hers he absorbed? Jack, that's a fantastic question. I will ask about that immediately. I will, I'll, I'll dig that. Out. That is, man, that's a really good one. I gotta, I'm gonna kind of wade through that shit, don't I? <laughs> David Church says, crappy situation, but am I wrong to say I hope Vince is completely out because I think WWE be, be better because of it. No, I don't think you're wrong in saying something that we have said repeatedly over the last several years. I I don't ever want a situation like this to be the catalyst for packing somebody up. It's maybe bad performance. He he isn't good at it anymore. Ed Uribe says, calling it tonight, SmackDown, uh, WWE and Vince are going to totally redo the killing Vince McMahon character with an exploding limo. I don't think so. I don't think so. Rick Bat says, life is looking up for Team Sap. You finally got in the nice shirt for one of these podcasts. I love this shirt. Uh, Call Me Crazy says, remember when you said after WrestleMania, usually news and subscriptions slow down this time of the year? A while that has now flipped. I flipped the table over and set it on fire. It certainly has. It certainly has, and I want to thank you guys for the support. Uh, we are largely publicly funded. Uh, I am about to go interview Leo Rush, but I want to plug Denise's that he just did with her as well. Uh, that is over on her channel. Mine will be out next week. Uh, but I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Comrade says, thanks for all you do. A big thank you so much uh, for, for that. And we've got Alex saying, I don't know about y'all, but I'm all for Steph taking over the company permanently. Of course. Of course. I mean, at least in comparison to what we got going on right now. And Gary says, it'd be interesting to see if the crowd boos may just be a UK view, but if anyone did it over here, it wouldn't go well for them. 99% sure of that. Guys, we'll be right back here tonight after Rampage. So here's what's going to happen. I know it's tempting for me to just go live right after SmackDown. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to spend that extra hour while obviously watching Rampage. The majority of tonight's show will likely be about the Vince thing, obviously the world title match, and I'm going to try to get as much information as I can. Subscribe to FightfulSelect.com. I can't tell you how important that is to us. Uh, we are the leader in breaking news in pro wrestling. But I'll tell you what makes me happy. A lot of different people are breaking really good news in wrestling, especially mainstream outlets this week. The more people that we have breaking news, uh, the more information that I will be able to get from a supplementary aspect as well. Because if somebody else breaks news, you better believe I'm going to be on uh, getting the details right on it after that. FightfulSelect.com will have it. Um, and it, it'll be worth your $5. Five bucks. You, you can't get a gallon of gas for this right now. Just stay home. Stay home. Fluffy Panda says it's going to take more than a leaked affair to get rid of Vince. 
WWE is a real baby. It'll take a Don Sterling type controversy. We'll see about that. NordVPN.com slash Fightful. It allowed us to bring this show to you for free. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to our moderators. Truly thank you. We're out.